Honored to be hosting the annual Atlanta Sports Hall of Fame induction ceremony again. That's tomorrow night at the Studio Theater in Sandy Springs. Tickets remain, and it's a great place to meet this city's greatest sports heroes all in one place. The class of 2019 includes Brookwood football coach Dave Hunter, Paralympic champion Curtis Lovejoy, Falcons great buddy Curry, and the guy you're about to meet here, broadcaster Ernie Johnson Jr. This is scary. Ernie Johnson Jr. may have the most fun job in television. I'm the dad who leans over into the back seat and says, if I hear one more peep out of you guys, I'm turning this car around. So maybe that's kind of what I do here. Sandwiched between Charles Barkley, Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal, Johnson leads the way for the NBA on TNT. But before all of the gags and the heated discussion, there's a ton of preparation. Yeah, it's a it's a very unscripted uh, and freewheeling show that this one is. But for me to to do my part and to know my role, it's to I have to have the ammo to throw out to these guys that that, that it's going to create conversation. And Johnson's ability to bring out the best in his co-hosts has earned him three sports Emmys as best studio host. Johnson's television career spans 40 years with stops doing local TV news in Macon, Spartanburg, and then Atlanta. The dream was let's get back to Atlanta, let's work on TV there, and so your mom and dad can watch you all the time. Uh, and, and, that's, and that really was what drove me. And once in Atlanta, Johnson found his next opportunity when Turner came calling. The greatest thing of all time was to have the folks at Turner call in 1989. And so I could take the next step and not leave this city. Believe me, there's no way I thought I'd still be sitting in that chair after 30 years. But uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful ride. That ride has included a little bit of everything, from the Olympics to Wimbledon, March Madness to Major League Baseball playoffs. Three, two. And now, after three decades with Turner Broadcasting, it's no longer his parents tuning in. And you have a, you know, your grandchildren look up at the TV and say, hey, there's Poppy. You know, it doesn't get any better than that. Family is tops for Ernie Johnson Jr. And that's part of the reason that his induction into the Atlanta Sports Hall of Fame is so special. He now joins his father, legendary Braves broadcaster, the late Ernie Johnson in the hall. Just to to be in his company again in this way um, is really spiritual for me. Johnson learned a lot about the broadcasting business from his Hall of Fame father, but the most important thing? What he always told me, just be yourself. You know, if you're trying to be somebody that you're not, it's never going to work. And staying true to himself has been a recipe for success. <laughs> Cody Chaffins, Fox 5 Sports. Thank you, Cody. That is one of the great good guys of the world. I look forward to being with him on that stage, and good for him. Tomorrow night, Atlanta Sports Hall of Fame. Check out the website. Tickets do remain, if I hadn't mentioned it before. Uh, I'll you, see you there. You've been hosting it a long time, and mm -hmm. I don't think we appreciate the amount of preparation mm -hmm. that these sportscasters put into you know, going on the air and calling these games or, and, and guys like you and <laughs> just, just the work that goes into it because there are so many different sports, so many different players. We started at some of the same places. He was at MAZ and Macon. He worked here locally mm -hmm. and uh, he's been at TNT for 30 years. Wow. It's, it's hard to believe. So. And it's great too that he's going to be with his father again in that way, as he said. That's I thought right. that was really That's precious. Right. Yeah. yeah, It's a great moment. If you get a chance to go, by, by all means, join us tomorrow night. That'll be a great time. <laughs> all right, right K-Rod, thanks. Thank you for joining 